Hey guys, my name is Timothy Shiba and I'm a videographer based in Japan. I'm originally from Hawaii and I spent a few years moving around America as a freelance videographer, making videos in LA, Seattle, and New York. And though it was super fun making YouTube videos and music videos and commercials, I always wanted to, you know, live a few years in Japan and make videos for my church called Tenrikyo. So about two years ago, I finished my last freelance job and I moved out to Tendi, Nara, and um, you know, spent my time learning Japanese and trying to help out my church making informational videos in English. Right now, there's not much uh, content in English about Tenekyo, so I wanted to use my skills as a videographer and storyteller to create content that helps people and shows the world uh, the philosophy of Tenekyo. My current plan is to be here for a few years and make videos and learn the language and also connect with my family out here. And, you know, right now, I'm kind of doing that. I work at the overseas department in Tenikyo, the branch that deals with uh, America, Canada, and Australia. As you can see, the dress code is businessman chic, and so I spend most of my days in a button up shirt and slacks. I kind of cheat it with uh, elastic slacks, but you know, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Though it's near the end of July, it's super rainy like every day right now, and that's because it's near the end of the rainy season here in Japan. So today I'm busting out my tan umbrella and heading out to work. So right now uh, we're passing through this street market called Hondori. And uh, oh, right now we're passing by my favorite ramen restaurant called Stamira Ramen. You guys gotta check that out. And yeah, this is where the magic happens. This is the main headquarters of Tenikyo. And man, look how beautiful it is. Like I always just like passing by here and just kind of, you know, it just kind of uh, reaffirms my reason for being here and it makes me feel really zen as I head over to start my day at the overseas department, aka Kaigaibu. Today there was some books and things that I needed to, um, you know, get packed and get ready to ship over to America. So I spent most of my morning uh, packing. Um, so yeah, this is kind of one of the things that we do at the overseas department and man, it's like no joke because in, in Japan, they really, really take packing and mail really seriously because they usually charge it by weight and stuff. So what we do is we try to rewrap the things uh, in paper so that, uh, you know, we can kind of cut costs here and there. So I got super, super good at wrapping because my senpai is like a neat freak. So today we're packing some books and monthly speeches and we ship it out to these different countries. Um, we do this like on a monthly basis and yeah, because of this, I've become a rapping machine, bro. Like I'm totally ready for Christmas this year. So yeah, man, all my friends who are getting Christmas presents this year, kakugo shiro. Yeah, just kidding. Uh, shipping it out would be hella expensive. <laughs> but anyways, after packing the books, it was lunchtime. So my friends and I went out to grab some lunch and man, honestly, I was so hungry that I actually forgot to film. And uh, yeah, the, so we're catching up with me afterwards. And right now I'm getting ready to work on my animated video. So this is like my favorite part of the day. Currently, I'm working on this video that explains one of the core concepts of Tenikyo, which is a thing lent, a thing borrowed. But yeah, a thing lent, a thing borrowed is basically the concept of us humans borrowing our bodies from God and God lending our bodies. Um, you know, to us humans. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna touch on this a little bit later. But with that, I was finished with work, and man, uh, I was in for a surprise right when I headed out, because dude, it was pouring rain. Yeah, I was planning on grabbing some nice footage as I was heading back from work and stuff like that, but it was so bad, I was like, nah, I'm just gonna head home today. <laughs> so yeah, I just ended up uh, getting shots around my dorm uh, right when I, you know, got there, and Man, somehow made the rain kind of made the video feel kind of like edgy, you know? Maybe it's just like the Japanese architecture, but yeah, it's a vibe, man. But yeah, right when I got into my room, I changed into some more comfortable clothes and I spent a few hours just chillaxing, bro. Um, watched some YouTube videos like Trevor Noah and Philip DeFranco and just kind of like hydrated, you know? 
ate some dinner, watched some more videos, and right when it hit around 7, I got my hop beyond, which is the coat that we wear when we pray, and I headed over to the Shinden, which is the main sanctuary, and got my prayers on, bro. So going back to Tenikyo, like, you know, philosophy and the thing lent a thing borrowed, our main belief in Tenikyo is that humans were created for the purpose of living a joyous life. So imagine that you created an AI robot and your sole purpose for this robot is for the robot to just kind of like live a happy, joyous life and so you gave him freedom to think. As you set the AI free, the AI doesn't really know like what to do, but it just kind of has this yearning to be happy. So it just kind of does crazy things to figure out, you know, what is the this word or what is this feeling of being happy? As much as you try to, you know, fix the surroundings and you, you know, guide it towards what you want it to do, because you gave it freedom of thinking and freedom of thought, it's impossible for you to guide it on the right track. And I think this kind of summarizes the idea of a thing lent, a thing borrowed. So we humans, we borrow our bodies from God and we try to you know, live the purpose of our life, which is live happily. But as we live life, we end up accumulating these dusts or like bad habits and emotions like anger, jealousy, and just, you know, emotional baggage. And God, seeing this, wanted to kind of like teach us. So in the 1800s, God came down into earth through the body of our foundress of our religion, Miki Nakayama, and she taught us how to get rid of these dusts and how to live lives of joy. God using the tools of this hand dance called otsutome, which is kind of like a mixture of meditation and prayer, and also hinokushin, which is volunteer work with a grateful mind. And with these tools, it's possible for us to sweep these dust or bad thoughts away, hopefully getting us closer to live happier lives. So when I arrived at the main sanctuary, I did the service and I tried to sweep these dust away from my mind, um, you know, kind of recenter, you know, kind of like meditate and try to find my mind of joy and my mind of gratitude and just kind of count all my blessings in life. Then as I finished, I kind of, you know, walked around the main sanctuary, just kind of feeling super zen. I was just kind of looking around, surrounded by these beautiful buildings and this crisp air and just kind of, you know, felt really blessed to be here in Japan, making videos, you know, just trying to be really present in this moment. Because, you know, when you start to count your blessings, man, you you really start to realize that, you know, life's pretty great. But anyways, that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching and, um, you know, living through my day with me. I'm actually going to go grab some food, um, like a second dinner or a midnight snack with my friend. Um, maybe I'll throw some of the footage in afterwards. But um, that's basically it for my day. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Jump <laughs> <laughs>